you know, especially uh, how we uh, ended it. I mean, honestly, till you said what you said to Megan, everything was fine. It's just crazy because it seems to me as if uh, Johnny Boy is a bit annoyed that his bro exposed the truth. Listen, some people may feel like as if like, you know, John, as a Patrick was in a wrong to speak up. But I don't think he was because he knows his brother. He knows his brother is the kind of person that will leave out information to get what he wants. And at the end of the day, you know, he can't watch his brother mislead a woman who's got a kid because that, that just isn't fair. <laughs> and to be fair, though, it is quite irritating, you know, interesting because uh, when Patrick was having his relationship with Ice in the season that we saw them, John was getting involved all the time. In fact, sometimes it felt like as if he was just trying to not sabotage it, but as if he was trying to make their relationship about him which was always a big, big problem, just as I'm saying. So at the end of the day, he's just getting the same treatment now from his brother. The difference is though, the treatment that he's getting from Patrick is actually a beneficial one. He's trying to, you know, protect the situation rather than try and make it worse. John was only trying to make Patrick's relationship with Thais worse. But hey, we continue. But with that being said, though, at the same time, though, we are on the road to 50K subscribers. And I know we can make it. We're literally there. We've got one more day left by the end of the month. That's when we want to make it by. So come on, let's make it happen. Okay, tomorrow's the last day. Come on now. Mm -hmm. She's upset with the truth. She's not a, what's the, the truth is what? If she's upset right now, and it's like things that are truthful, it, you know, knows what you want, so then you're not all overwhelmed. Because like, you know, you said you don't want responsibility. You said you don't want to be a dad. I didn't want babies. You're not to be fair, but somebody that said that he never wanted to have kids, right? And what well, to be fair, let's, let's focus on responsible. Patty said that John says that he never wanted to be responsible for kids. Obviously, John's response is, I never wanted kids. Well, let's put them both together. The matter of the fact is, though, even though the child is going to be, even though even though Megan Child is not his child, and even though Megan Child has a father in the picture, either way, though, whenever he's going to be with Megan and the child, he, has, he still has a responsibility to, you know, to, to support the child and, you know, to obviously protect the child and everything that I guess the, the, the dad would do, right? Because he can't just live there and, and like, act as if the child doesn't exist. You know what I mean? He can't just get irritated if the child starts start, start acting up, if the child becomes difficult. Well, anything anything can happen when you are obviously looking after children, right? And you have to be in a position where you're ready to actually want to go through that process. If he's not, well, then obviously him being with Megan is not going to work. You know, he can't just look at this as if it's, oh, it's okay, but it's not my child. It doesn't work like that, okay? Either way, you're like, you still have a role to play. You still have a responsibility. You still have a care. So John has to really think about that before actually, you know, wanted to make the move with Megan, but this is John. John's a man child. John doesn't think about these things. He thinks that he can just do what he likes in life and get away with it. I'm not gonna do something crazy and like move there. I'm probably moving there. It's how you feel with each other, right? You know, just like Pat wants you, right? My God. It's the same we thing. Is together, like you are together. Well, you know, John's saying he's gonna move to San Antonio. I mean, I think, you know, love can be a spell and I found that one quite interesting. Love can be a spell. It's a good point, but I think it's basically lost phase, isn't it? But I get it. Sometimes, you know, if you are with somebody and you feel like you love them, sometimes you do things that maybe you wouldn't normally do. And those things could easily bite you up in the ass at a later stage. So I kind of see what he's saying about that one. It's quite a good point. Hmm. You know, it can definitely cloud judgment. Yeah. It definitely can cloud your judgment. That is not a lie. All I know is this. I just feel like in this situation, I think it's a matter of where Patrick knows John more. And he's just trying to look out for Megan more. He's trying to, I think he's trying to look out more for Megan than he's trying to look out for John. That's, the, that, that's what I'm looking at. Now, of course, later on in the episode, John does go off to speak to Megan. And he pretty much says, hey, I'm going to come and uh, live with you guys. I want to give it a try. Do you know what it is? This, this is, this is going to be, uh, I don't really want to say this, but I feel like this kind of has to happen. I kind of feel like John has to go for the experience of being with Megan, being around with the child, because then that would actually allow him to know whether or not if this is the life that he wants. Because sometimes people can't move away from an experience. Sometimes people can't just stop wanting something or stop something if they haven't experienced it. You see what I'm saying? Now, the only bad thing about it is that a child's life is involved. A child may have to experience a man coming into her life and then also leaving that's the only downfall from this situation right that the child could be affected right but if i look at it away from the child john feels like if kind of feels like john's the kind of person that has to go through this experience for him to realize that hey this experience is either going to be for you or it's not going to be for you so if i'm looking at it on a john point of view and i want to be selfish i'll go for the experience if i don't want to be selfish then i won't go for the experience and i'll continue to look for somebody who does not have a child which ideally is the best one. But John right now is adamant that he wants to be with Megan. He's adamant that this is going to work. So 
for him to pull away from her, he's probably going to have to go for the experience and obviously hope for the best rather than hope for the worst. It's only, it's only the worst if the child goes for the experience, you see what I'm saying? But either way though, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it. We are on the road to 50k, come on now, let's make it happen. Tomorrow's the last day, peace.